Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to host a static HTML website for free using GitHub pages. Uh, it's super easy and you don't have to mess with any DNS settings or anything like that. GitHub's just going to generate a URL based off of your GitHub username and also the project uh, repo name that we're going to type in. So you can add a custom custom domain if you want to. Uh, however, in this video, uh, I'm, you know, we're going to be just fine using the GitHub generated URL. So this is just a little travel mock travel website that I built the other day. Just index, um, sorry, just HTML and CSS. So if you want to see how I built this, I'll put a link in the description below so you can see how I built it. But let's jump on over to VS Code. This we're going to get started here. So what we're going to do, actually go ahead and make sure that you have a GitHub account because this is how we're going to host it, right? So go to GitHub and just create a new repository. And what I'm going to name this, I'm just going to paste that in there, air travel dash HTML dash CSS flex grid, just like that. Uh, I don't need a description and you want to make sure this is public. Okay. Now just scroll down and what we're going to say is just create repository. Now we're going to go ahead and type all this in. Um, so let's go ahead and, and do that. So I'm just going to copy this over right here. So let's go back into VS code. What we're going to say is get init get add just like that then get commit and we can say something like um, finished build just like that and then I'm gonna say get branch um, sorry just like that okay then we want to paste our um, our origin there so go ahead and paste that in there then get push origin main just like so okay and Sometimes it might ask you for a password. I'm on MacBook, so that's why it's asking. So we have go ahead and push that. So let's go ahead and refresh and we should see our project here. There we go. So we have our HTML file, <coughs> excuse me, and our CSS file. So what we want to do next, ensure that your project is here and you see it there. So once you see it there, what we're going to do is go to settings and on the left side here, we're going to go to pages. So go ahead and click on pages. And then what we want to do here is we want to select right here under source where it says none, go ahead and select that. And we want to select main. So go ahead and hit save. Now scroll down here and as you can see, it says your site is ready to be published. So this is all we need to do. But if you, if you click on this, sometimes you might get, Oh, Hey, it's already working there. So that was really, really quick. So sometimes you might get an arrow 404 not found. That's okay, guys. You just have to be patient. Um, that means GitHub's working, you know, trying to, to update the server. So if you just wait about 15 or 20 minutes is usually what it takes. But as you can see, in this case, it is already hosted here and you can see that it is, um, my GitHub username dot GitHub dot IO slash the repo name that we just created. And as you can see, if we refresh, make sure everything works properly and uh, you know, we can scroll down to the, to our sites here and everything is working as it should. So I hope you liked it. You guys smash the like button. If you got some value out of it and consider subscribing to my channel, I'm going to be putting out some more uh, web content, especially react JS content here in the near future. So hope you like it, you guys. Thanks for watching. And remember if you get that arrow, that error 404, don't worry, just sit tight and it should, um, it should work here. Uh, just give it about 30 minutes and it should work. So thanks for watching you guys. See you on the next one.